To form an intention, you must have a goal, but do we always set our sights on the right outcome? Behavioural researchers say that the secret lies in aiming for enduring accomplishments with long-term satisfaction rather than a passing thrill. Entrepreneur Ashok Sunarine exemplifies this approach, so we asked him to share some of his ideas on life, success and happiness. The IBV Children's VIP Day has become an annual favourite for thousands of youngsters from children's homes in the Itaquini area. This initiative was launched thanks to the vision and generosity of Devon-born bank vault magnate Ashok Sunarine, and many prominent local business people are also involved. Not a man to seek the limelight, he pursues his philanthropic projects with the same focus and quiet efficiency that characterise his business, with discretion and integrity as a watchword. As we celebrate 100 years of Madiba's life this year, we look for South Africans that have truly achieved the dream. I'm so honoured and excited to be meeting with Ashok Sunarine, owner and founder of IBV today. Ashok, how are you? Hi Karusha, how are you? Good, thank you. Such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Are you most welcome. Just getting off a plane and into the office, how do you juggle it all? To achieve something, to create something, it becomes beyond a hobby, beyond a career, beyond a job. It becomes a driving passion, a true passion. So in many ways, you are the South African dream. Coming from humble beginnings and building an empire. Can you talk me through that process? Born in Mayville, uh, in Cato Manor. My dad had a small general dealer business. Actually, when I finished matric, I wanted to be a lawyer, to study law, but my, I had to assist my dad in his business, and uh, I, said, I said I will study part-time. By 22, I was married, and we, as best friends, started life together. The concept of the vault, where did that originate? In 2004, I had to go and take some of my wife's jewelry and place them in the vault. And I overheard a lady who was in front of me talking to the teller and she says, you know, I would like a safe deposit vault. And the teller replied, ma'am, we are fully booked. There's a three or four year wait list and we cannot help you. So when I was walking with the teller to my vault, I joked with her and said, why don't you provide more safe deposit vaults? There's a demand, there's a wait list for it. And she says, no, we're not really keen to expand. And I said, all right, I'll build a vault so that you could send me all the customers. And in a year later, I had built IBV International Vaults in Gateway. Wow. And that was a fun and a challenge, and I took it on as a hobby because I knew nothing about the banking and the vault business. But I'm proud to say that we are flying high and we, we are reasonably successful in our small achievements. Is it possible for me to see the vaults? I'm actually going to the vault, so you're welcome to join me. Great, I'd love to. In addition to the vaults, Ashok's company also has a division trading in gold, precious metals and South African coins, as well as running an exclusive club for supercar owners. The facility would not look out of place on a movie set, with row upon row of tightly shut doors discreetly identified by number. Ashok, this is so cool. I've never been in a vault before. We have a new vault just down the road to accommodate for another 5,000 clients. In this vault, we have just over 7,000 clients. And our expansion goes to Santon, London, Zurich, and Dubai. How important is it for you to give back? I think it is our responsibility as business to ensure that we leave no one behind. That's the difference between greed and ambition. A person with greed will focus purely for themselves and don't care about anyone else. An ambitious person is a person that can be successful, but take along everyone with him. Ashok, I have to talk to you about the cars that we passed on the way in here. I would love a tour, if that's possible. Absolutely, only a pleasure. Ashok makes no secret of his passion for supercars, with Italian marks counting among his favorites. And he has established a club, especially for fellow high-powered petrol heads. Here too, he has found a way to spread the joy and in 2014, he got the members together in Durban to share the pleasure of riding in an exotic vehicle with some 200 local orphans. A 
Apart from the smiles that this experience brought to the children's faces, it was also the first time that a car club raised more than a million rand for charity, setting a Guinness World Record in the process. On behalf of Guinness World Records, congratulations. You are officially amazing. Well done. This is the supercar that I love. Obviously, Ferrari is a great brand, like Lamborghini and the other supercar brands, but there's some specialness about Ferrari, and especially the fact that you can have any color you like as long as it's red. What is your message to any young entrepreneur that wants to see themselves where you are today? Have no fear of failure. Try anything in business as long as it's legitimate, and do it with passion, do it with perseverance, and I guarantee you, that if you pursue anything you want, you can achieve it. And what does happiness mean for you? A happy family, friends with laughter, and to see that there is less or no suffering in the world. In honor of Nelson Mandela's centenary year, do you have a Mandela message? We should be proud as a nation to have two prominent leaders in the world, and that was Mahatma Gandhi and Madiba. We are, as a nation, blessed to have that foundation of leadership. We need to follow in those footsteps in order for us to be successful in our daily lives. Thank you for letting us in to a little bit of your life. I want to thank you guys. It's great meeting all of you.